Guys, so this next move here is Paul Richardson going to the Washington Redskins on a five-year deal worth $40 million, $20 million of it guaranteed. Now, this move is all about getting Alex Smith more weapons. He obviously was just traded from Kansas City to Washington in a move that sent the third, uh, the Redskins' third-round pick and Kendall Fuller over to Kansas City for Alex Smith. And now that you have him, you've got to build around Alex Smith. You have Jamison Crowder, you have Josh Doxson, you have Vernon Davis, you have Jordan Reed, and now you have Paul Richardson. Paul Richardson has been, apparently the, the word going around is that Paul Richardson is going to be Alex Smith's new version of what Tyreek Hill was. I don't really think that that's very accurate. I feel that kind of Jamison Crowder might fill that role. I honestly don't know, um, but that's what they say it is, and that's what I'm going with. But so Paul Richardson, I guess, is Alex Smith's new um, Tyreek Hill, which you know, good move. I really like Paul Richardson. I think that he was a little bit underutilized in Seattle. He didn't get enough chance to shine. And now that he's going to have the opportunity to be a starting wide receiver in Washington, um, I feel this is a very solid move. He's getting some pretty decent money, about half of the amount of what Sammy Watkins got. Um, he got about the same amount of what Albert Wilson just got from the Miami Dolphins. Um, now, obviously, I'm not going to make videos about every single free agent signing because I would literally be here all day. But um, and I just can't do that. I have a schedule. But I really do like this move. I feel like the Redskins do have some ground to catch up on now. I mean, they they're really helping out Alex Smith. Um, and now that they don't have to pay Kirk Cousins as much money, they can use that money to build around their offensive line. Maybe do they don't need to do that much to their offensive line necessarily, but they do need to get a couple more pieces there, build some depth up. You also need to work on the defense a little bit more now, especially now that you don't have Kendall Fuller. You need to work on some cornerbacks. You need to work on just the secondary in general. Um, I feel that you have some pretty decent pass rushers. But the defense does need a little bit more work, and I feel like they're doing that. I feel like they were getting rid of, um, you know, they've gotten rid of some bad contracts, bad players and whatnot. Um, and I feel like they are slowly but surely working their way back into the very crowded NFC East with the Philadelphia Eagles making all the moves they've made. Dear Lord, uh, you know, the Cowboys haven't done much. They've kind of sat on their hands, thankfully, for Redskins fans. And then you have the New York Giants, who haven't been doing too much. They missed out on um, Andrew Norwell, which was huge for the NFC East because Andrew Norwell would have been a great addition for the Giants. But I feel like um, the Redskins are working their way back. I feel like next season they will probably surprise some people, especially with Alex Smith and now Paul Richardson joining the ranks of Josh Doxson, who kind of had a career rejuvenation last season, kind of really got going on his career. And uh, Jameson Crowder, who's always been good in my opinion, as well as Jordan Reed. If Jordan Reed can stay healthy, then you've got a pretty good set of weapons there for Alex Smith. But yeah, that's it for this quick video, guys. If you're a Redskins fan and you're new, don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you did like the Paul Richardson move. And again, uh, just let me know. Did you like the move? Did you hate the move? Again, let me know down in the comments section below. Um, and I will be continuing to keep all of you updated on the big free agency moves that are done. Obviously, I won't be able to get to all of them. Otherwise, I'd be here all day. And Bucks fans, don't worry. I have a Bucks video coming out next. So yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. And as always, I will see you in the next one. But until then, goodbye for now, guys.